welcome back guys to another yeah. Spring Sisters video. Hello. Yeah. We've we have a chicken. We're gonna do a little quick health check on it because we've we think she's got well possibly something called bumblefoot. We've not experienced this before, we've heard about it. And Lois, we've looked it up in the manual, haven't we? What does it say? Bumblefoot caused by bacteria. It's found on the skin. So it's normally caused by a wound um, or the skin's been damaged on the foot. Could be caused uh, by jumping down from a high perch, it says, potentially. Um, the, the infected foot will fill with pus and become inflamed and painful. Uh, the, the interesting thing is, we'll have a look at the chicken in a minute. The symptoms are lameness, inflammation, um, which, and she's not showing those symptoms, not that we've seen, or a hot foot. But this third one, abscess with a black scab, may form on the pad of the foot. We think we've seen that, so let's have a little look. This is what the picture in the book is of it. And we think it's a bit like that because mm. we saw her foot's a bit bigger and it looks like it's swollen and there's a, like, like a, a stone, stony thingy yeah, inside. And we recommend not pulling it out. Mm, let's, have look at Blossom. let's have a look at Blossom. So here she comes. This morning. So, as you can see, don't mind that poo, that's just poo. But just poo, smelly poo. There's a little bit of like a rock. Yeah, we tried to pull it out, but it looked like it was a bit attached to the foot. Yeah. And if you unravel the foot, You've been shy. you can see that it does. the pad does look a bit big. And you can see there's some damaged skin maybe there mm. next to the You're scab right. thing. You're right, sort of pinkness around the entire sole or so it does the palm, a whatever you call that. And if we compare it to another chicken's foot... Okay, so, so her foot, the comparison her here feet look a, a lot more less round yeah. on the bottom. Mm. She has sweet corn stuck on her foot. <laughs> that can be removed. So they look a lot flatter, mm. and more kind of wrinkly, but Blossom's feet were like less quite bulbous. Swollen. I mean, Chica seems to have quite big feet. She's you guys read about She's the most roosterish one oh, that we have. And also, Chick update. We haven't done one for a while. The chicks are getting really big. Here's Furnival, and they're just very this, large. This this one here is Kiwi. We think that he that, that he's a boy, as of the crest and the wattles. Everyone else seems fine. And look at that hairdo. So they're developing hairdos. Especially and Kiwi's even got some cheek fluff. Well, I think she said she's like a rooster. Everyone else is fine. So we're going to ring the vets and see if we can go and they might know what it is and how to, how to make it a bit better. So let's go. hours later quite a lot of hours later we have this cat carrier we've used this for the chickens a lot and it's got some straw and in the back there's some lettuce leaves homegrown we're gonna get that chicken over there that chicken there doesn't know it yet going to go in here and it's gonna have a stressful journey to the vets or maybe, maybe. not a stressful journey well, probably a stressful journey so let's see how easy this is will she see the lettuce there's lettuce in there, Bloss. And that Amazing. was easy. Amazing. Oh, really? the power of lettuce. <laughs> yep, yeah, that was easy. She's in. She's ready for her little appointment. <laughs> Just gave Blossom to the vets and now we're waiting in the car. Because, because of, of lockdown, because you can't go in. Yeah. And so. we're just waiting for her to come out. The vet um, might call us and ask us some questions about um, her, so take a bit of money from us probably for the privilege and we're just hoping that it's something that they can fix treat whatever they do because we spotted it quite early so it, um mm. at least we it's not late spotting because it's hard to treat if it's if you spot it too late mm, this lockdown uh, sort of vet trip malarkey is weird though not being able to go in and explain anything we just have to sit in the car and wait for the call so that's what we're doing now. I'll wait for them mm. to come in. 
Oh, well, there's a van, yeah. She's fine. We, we got her some wipes. The vet's also um, trimmed down it. It wasn't Bumblefoot, actually. It was Callis. If you left it, it could turn into Bumblefoot. So, they trimmed it a bit and we got these wipes. that, to, And we have to wipe daily so it doesn't, you know, get worse. So, when you wipe it, it stops her. It lowers the risk of getting Bumblefoot from her infection thingy. So we're going to put some extra bark down tomorrow on the surface that she can, where she walks, so it's a bit softer on her feet. And we put her back into bed as it is getting quite dark. Flappy chicken.